I'm, I'm excited to hear this record because from everything I've read and everything I've heard, it sounds like we're going to get a really honest look at not only navigating your 20s, but navigating your 20s after you, do, you make this breakthrough album, right? And kind of how crazy that is to navigate and how crazy that is to figure out. Is that, was that the goal, making the second album, is to, to be as honest as possible? Um, I think that's something that we focus on all the time when we're writing songs. But the craziest part is I forgot this, but his last name means honest in German. Really? Which is pretty crazy considering what we, we did. We just did like, we just got done with like a European press trip, and we our la- the last day was in Berlin, and everyone basically was like, "Do you know what your last name means?" It's a big talking point over there. Yeah, yeah. Um, but both my parents are adopted, so I don't think I'm actually German. I mean, I might be slightly German. I don't really know. I don't know. Thinking about ancestry. Depends on the day. Yeah. Yeah, the vibe. <laughs> <laughs> um. When you have that breakthrough success, kind of uh, going down this journey of honesty, right, and what you're going to explore on this record, is the initial feeling, is it joy, is it elation, or is, it, is there anxiety with that, right? Because you, you, you hope for success as a musician when you're making you know, music growing up, right, and you're coming up, but then what is the reality of that like? Is it almost like, oh my gosh, what are we going to do now? Like, walk me through it. <sighs> Well, I think the way that we, <laughs> yeah, sorry, it's a good question. Uh, but like, I think that the way we were thinking about the album as a whole was kind of like deconstructing relationships. And even when you're in the best relationship possible, whether it's a friendship or a romantic relationship, there's still anxiety that'll one day fizzle out or burn out or whatever. And the same thing comes with making music. Yeah. It's just like a lifelong kind of anxiety. Whenever something good happens, there's, you've been saying this a lot, an equal and opposite reaction somehow in yeah. your brain that like doesn't believe that it's going to exist forever. Right. Well, that's, I guess what I'm kind of getting at is that apart from the themes of the album we'll, we'll get into is that when you have that success, 2016, 2017, is there a little bit of like, Oh my gosh, what are we going to do now? Right. Cause you want this attention, you want this, this validation, but then once you have it, it is a little nerve wracking now. Uh, no, you're wrong with you. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. Joe cool there's, over there's here, like, man. No, 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 no. Damn. Uh, no, there's like a, I mean, there's just like a, Part of being a human is, like, experiencing anxiety, probably, you know? Yeah. Um, whether it's attached to anything at all is, like, up to your life, like, up to you. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I don't feel like we really experience, like, more anxiety or, like, weirdness in our lives because of what we've done in our careers. I think it's just human nature. That's cool. So no pressure going into the sophomore album. That's awesome. Well, I mean, we, I think we put pressure on each other. Yeah, for sure. yeah. Like, we are hard on ourselves, yeah. for sure. But, I don't know. Music is just, like, a weird industry to be in. Yeah. In the first place. Especially now more than ever, right? Yeah. 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 Probably. Yeah. I don't like checking Spotify being like, are we over a million plays yet? Yeah. But I do it. <laughs> <laughs> 